I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm just gonna go ahead and go through these notes in case you need them, if you miss the Zoom, or maybe you just want a refresher. So we are gonna talk about um, linear associations, which we've kind of already talked about before, so hopefully this is similar information for you. Um, remember we talked about scatter plots um, on Monday, and a scatter plot is just, <clears throat> excuse me, a graph of data that has a lot of data points, right? And some of those data points are really close together, some of them are really far apart, okay? so. Uh, Georgia and her classmates are measuring their height and arm span. They record their data in a table. How can they determine what relationship, if any, exists between two sets of measurements? So, again, we have student 1 through 11. That information is not really relevant, right? We know that there's one data point and two data points and three data points. But what they did is they did a graph. They did height and arm span here. And notice they have these little squiggles here, okay? What that means is they skipped a big chunk of information. So that way they could start at 56 to 66 and then count by, it looks like, uh, ones down there as well, okay? Because um, each line is one, so that would be 57, that would be 59, so on and so forth. Same thing here. They started so that way it was 56 to 66 on there as well. And then they plotted each point, right? So they plotted the point 66, uh, 64, right? Which would be right here, right? And so on and so forth. So if we wanted to do 67 and 65, that would be this point right here. And they plotted all of those points, okay? Step two is we want to find a line, and it's called a trend line or line of best fit, that kind of represents a lot of that data, okay? So they say, use a pencil to find a line that passes through the middle of the plotted points. It's called trend line. So they kind of just made a rough estimate line, right? And you can even extend it further, okay? And then we're going to look at the slope of the line. This would be a positive slope, because remember, as we're reading it from right to left, it is going upwards. If it was going this way, it would be a negative slope, okay? There's a positive relationship between height and arm span. So that means as your height goes up, your arm span also goes up. Okay? If there was a negative correlation or a negative association, as one went down, the other would go up. Okay, so let's try this one here. So Georgia and her classmates also measure their foot length. Use a pencil to draw a trend line and sketch the trend line for the scatter plot. And then why don't we do the association as well? So again, I'm looking at this data. And we can see a general trend upwards, right? Again, your line isn't going to hit every dot, right? Because the data is kind of a little more all over the place, okay? So this would be a positive association. Okay? So a positive association on that one, okay? All right, moving on to the next page. Now... The Johnsons own an ice cream shop near the beach. The scatter plots show their sales by daily high temperature. They compare their sales by daily high temperature to the number of beachgoers by daily high temperature. Uh, describe the association. So we have temperature and total sales, and then we have temperature and number of people at the beach, right? They've already given us a trend line or line of best fit, okay? Now, if we look at this, as we're looking at this line we've drawn, there's data points that are a little bit further away from the line than others, right? We would call this a weak association because they're not all really close together on that line, okay? But this one, we can see when we're drawing the line, there's a lot of dots either on the line or really close to the line, and they're all really grouped together, except for this little guy. He's an outlier, right? This would be a strong association because there's a strong association to that line of best fit, okay, or that trend line, okay? And what that means is there's a better chance that as the temperature goes up, the number of people are going to go up. Whereas the temperature goes up, but the sales may or may not go up. That just depends, right? So that's why we call it a weak association. There is a general trend for that, but it's not as strong as when the temperature goes up, there's more people at the beach. Okay? So now sometimes these are linear association because there's a line formed, right? But sometimes we'll see nonlinear associations. Like this one, we can see there's a curve happening, right? Um, so the points in the scatter plot form a curve. So the scatter plot shows a nonlinear association between the data. Okay, and that's fine. It can show a nonlinear, right? So that means like this might be kicking a ball, right? As 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 the height happens, time is going by, right? And then it's coming down. Okay. Um, so for each scatter plot, identify the association between the data. If there's no association, state that. Okay. And let's say if it's strong or weak. Okay. So again, I'm going to draw my trend line here. Okay. What kind of association do you think that is? I would say that's positive. It's linear because it's a straight line. Okay, And I would say this is a fairly strong association, right? The points are all really close to that line. Okay, This one, we have a circle. Okay, um, So there is no association here, right? Because it's a circle. Okay, There's not a positive association. There's not a negative association. Um, you could say it's nonlinear, right? Because it's not a line. 
right? And again, if we look at this one here, so we could say nonlinear. And if we go ahead and look at um, this one, the data is absolutely all over the place, right? Um, so we would say no association. It's not linear. It's not nonlinear um, association, okay? Because there's absolutely nothing. I could draw a line here. I could draw a line here, right? There's nothing I can do to show that association, okay? And that's not going to have a strong or a weak association because there's no association to start with, okay? Um, as you're going through this PDF, the next pages are just the homework, so you can see the homework if you left your book here, okay? Have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.